Theater's Dome, there are so many honored and distinguished guests and friends. And one of the reasons this is one of my favorite things of the year is because I know I'm going to spend the evening in a room with people who are friends, people who are great supporters of the Toronto Police Service. And without your support, I have to tell you how difficult this job would be. And I think one of the great, great things about the city of Toronto is that there are so many uh, people who see support the work that we do. I just want to begin my, my brief remarks. And Lauren has mentioned me several times right behind you. I'll be brief. <laughs> Thank God you didn't say the short. <laughs> but I, I wanted to begin my remarks by just offering a very sincere thank you to each and every one of you who has joined us here tonight uh, for your support of this evening, for your support of Crime Stoppers. And I'll speak very briefly a little bit about Crime Stoppers, but also for being not just one night a year, but every night of the year, every day, being steadfast supporters of the work that we are so committed to doing, to keeping Toronto an extraordinarily safe city, but also a city of social justice, a city where people can live in, in, in peace and safety and, and in respect. And this room is, is one of the reasons that that is possible. And I'm, I'm so grateful for your support, and I, I wanted to begin uh, by saying thanks. Another thing that we try to do every year, uh, I don't do it very often. Frankly, I haven't been the chief now. I'm going in my eighth year as, as the chief of the Toronto Police Service. And, and one of the privileges of being the chief of, of Toronto is we occasionally get to acknowledge and, and recognize some extraordinary supporters of, of, of the Toronto Police Service, but also extraordinary citizens of the city of Toronto. And for me, this has been a fairly rare occurrence, but it's, it's one of the great privileges to occasionally get to acknowledge publicly some of the people who make this an extraordinary city. And I'd like to take this opportunity, if you'll indulge me just for a moment, to ask Lady Lombardi and John Tory to come up just briefly and join me on the stage. Great, great grandfather of crime 
I also want to tell you that I am better prepared to hold police officers accountable for their actions. But I'm prepared to hold them accountable for their actions based on facts, not rumors. But according to the rule of law, not opinion. And I think that we must be open and transparent in everything that we do. I want you to know that I am enormously proud of the work of the men and women of the Toronto Police Service. I think every day they go and do the thousands of things that make a difference in the quality of the lives of each and every one of our citizens. They do their jobs under great pressure. They do their jobs sometimes in the face, as I've said, of great provocation. In the overwhelming majority of cases, they do it with the utmost of integrity and with constant professionalism. And as their chief, I support them in that very important work. I am reminded when I think of my officers of a quote from Teddy Roosevelt. I don't want to spend too much time with you here, but I think this is kind of important, and I wanted to share it with you. And it is this. It's not the critic who counts, nor the man who points out how strong men stumble, or when the doer of deeds could have done them better. The critic belongs to the man or the woman who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by sweat and dust and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort with their error and shortcoming, but who actually dares to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms and great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls that no victory, no neither victory, nor defeat. I am, as I've said, enormously <coughs> proud of the men and women of the Toronto Police Service and the work that we do. I am equally proud of the relationship and the partnership that we have been able to create with the people of this great city. I want to assure you all that we are, first of all, completely committed to continuing in that partnership. We police one of the most diverse cities anywhere in the world. And we have the privilege of also policing what has become one of the safest cities anywhere in the world. We have so much to be proud of. <laughs> but we will never be complacent in our mission to continue to work with each and every one of you and with every citizen of the city of Toronto. As your chief of police, I will never be complacent in ensuring that my people are held to the highest level of account in their professional responsibilities to serve this city with honor and with integrity. But I also want you to know how important we believe our partnership with each and every one of you is and how valued your support is. Without your support, without your partnership, without your commitment to this great city, we could not together succeed in our mission to keep this the safest and most livable city anywhere in the world. And so I want to end my remarks again with a very sincere thank you. This is a very special night for the Toronto Police Service, and certainly a very special night for their chief. It is a night when I get to spend the evening with people I really believe are great friends, great supporters, and great citizens of the city of Toronto. It is a privilege to be your partner is a privilege to serve and protect this city.